All right, guys, today I just received a package from the one and only Bobololo. Uh, he was a bit vague on the contents. He just said that uh, there are some things that I would find useful or something like that. Also hinted at something to have to do with a teaser for End War or something like that. Um, really not sure. So, having no expectations at all, I'm sure, regardless of the contents, it will be pleasant. So, However, it is somewhat, feels like there's at least one something in there, uh, something rattling around, perhaps a couple pieces. So, ah, awesome. Okay, lots of things. Okay, wow, okay. Um, hello, Mr. Nathan. Hopefully this box arrived to you in one piece, and it certainly did. Inside you'll find three shells, a rattler, cool, a shot blast, oh, and a rapid madness. If you're looking for a nice air tank for some future project, the Shot Blast tank is pretty darn good for NIC stuff. That's something I do want to experiment with, but I'm not uh, knowledgeable enough quite yet with all that, but uh, this will be a good start. And if you want all-out power, the Rapid Madness could fit up to 2-inch PVC. I tried expanding a Panther tank to that size, but it kept leaking pretty badly. Sad face, sad times. I'm sure you can turn these into something lovely. Oh, and enjoy the darts. Darts. Well, regardless of what they are, I'm sure I'll find a use for them somewhere. So, thank you very much, Bobolodo. So, we have... <laughs> okay, uh, allow me to share. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, um, a package of what appears to be the Barbary darts with a nice uh, clinical label for the eye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll have to save these for a uh, special occasion. <laughs> so thank you very much for the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, those will go in a nice, happy place for display by my bench. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, bubble wrap. Cool. And a rattler. Okay. Actually, that's very nice. Very nice, actually. I managed to thrift one of these last year, I think, but it had sat in the sun so long that it actually destroyed itself in the course of trying to open it up. So, uh, that's gonna be nice, actually, you know, feels, you know, it's not yellowed or anything. Very nice. It is, it is, um, an attractive piece. I do like the kind of, the nice muzzle detail. It has its cool, grippy area thing. Uh, the thumb hole part, I believe, is kind of a, um, Kind of like an HDPE, some of that weird kind of um, smoothie, what the heck you call it? Some kind of more of a, a poly type plastic stuff. Um, and I believe it won't take DevCon, and I believe it doesn't also like epoxy putty and stuff. So this part may not be as useful, but we do have this really nice stock detail and a, a nice broad, wide stock, and a nice curvature there, as well as this nice kind of frontal area there. So yes, this will definitely be put to good use. Thank you very much. Now, Shot Blast, I've actually, I've seen these before, um, I've only seen like one or two locally, but they wanted a lot of money for it. But I do like the, the looks of the shell, I mean, it's very simplistic as far as it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, angles and weird stuff, but it has some awesome, awesome detail. These kind of, kind of perforated, louvery looking things there, this little kind of, um, knurled strap through there. And this back here where the tank is, is there again is that, um, more of a poly type stuff, so I might not be able to utilize that. But you have the whole rail, which is kind of cool. It's a nice long flat rail and a really big, rather aggressive kind of angle cut on the front end there. And hmm. Interesting. that grip could also be used for something. Um, huh. Very nice, very nice. I've never actually uh, been able to handle one of these up close, so it's nice to see it like that. Oh, it's got some, there's some good potential there. I'm gonna have to, uh, have to start brainstorming some ideas there. Thank you. Ah. 
amateur dolphin whisperer. Huh. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I'll put that with the rest of my cards and things. Okay. Rapid Madness. Okay. I do have one of these, the one that I got from Walcom that uh, sits up there on the uh, on the pegboard. But I've never actually looked at one of these with an eye toward uh, modding, whether cosmetic or anything. It's rubber banded together and seems to have the contents all of them. Okay, just the valve and trigger and stuff. Okay. I don't believe there's anything else in there. Alright. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, I've never actually looked at uh, aesthetically at these because I was always kind of uh, thrown off by the whole boomco and weird side clippy thing. Uh huh. But there is, uh, I do think there's potential there. Nice, rather uh, prominent muzzle thing there. Grip's a bit peculiar, but could be turned into something, I'm sure. And. Huh. I do kind of like that stock, too. You could easily at least use the back part and kind of this front area here, depending on what it's uh, being combined with. It does have some nice little miscellaneous details and some weird angles that would be handy for some other things. So, alright! Well, cool. Just confirming there's no. nothing hiding. Excellent. Alright. Well, cool. Thanks, man. Uh, uh, you know, just. Uh, it's nice to get a hold of some of these that I had previously didn't have, or didn't have ones that I could uh, really have access to for integration potential and stuff like that, but no, I'll have to, uh, this means I need more projects now. Well, hey, thanks a bunch, man. I really appreciate it. It really means, uh, really means a lot to me. So, look forward to seeing these in future projects, I'd imagine, and we'll see you next time. Wishing blue skies and green lights to you and yours, and may all your troubles be teeny-weeny ones.